Hey everybody, Andrew here from Pacific Coast Auto with a very different kind of walk around video. We've had customers asking for a really long time, can we export motorcycles? We mentioned this in our December video, kind of the question cast in the office, that we were looking into this and we were going to try and make it happen. And now, finally, for the first time, we are going to make it happen. So I'm here to show you the very first motorcycle we are exporting. Where is it? It's right here. Here we go, so As you may have figured out, you can't ride it like this. There's no handlebars, you can barely even see the seat right there, tucked away. So what is it? Well, some of you probably already know, this is a Motocompo. It was designed by Honda to be a trunk bike. It would fit in the back of a Honda City or a Honda Today. It's not a big bike, it's not for road trips. It's for driving, it's for putting around on more than riding. It's for fun. You drive your car into the city, find a place to park, pop this out of the back, go run errands. Now, it's a little bit weighty, even though it's small. It's 45 kilos. I could probably pick it up, but I don't hurt my back. Sorry. I'll pick the front up. Not terribly heavy. It has a 50cc engine, which is about that big. One cylinder, two stroke engine. It puts out about two and a half horsepower. Not gonna win any races, except against other motocompos. Now, this is how it is when it's in the back of the car. You take it out, now you want to ride somewhere, what do you do? Well, you need your key. Unlock this, fold it in half. And out come the handlebars. Just open them up. Tighten them all the way down. Pop up your seat and put the cover back. Now you're ready to ride. Oops, sorry, foot pegs. Now it's not a key start bike, but you do need the key in it to start it. It is a kickstart bike. So hopefully I'm not about to embarrass myself here. Make sure my fuel is on, kickstand out, and let's see what happens. First try! All right, you can see the back wheel spinning because when the motor's on, the bike is on. If I drop it down, is it gonna take off? Not really. A person's weight is enough to stop this bike from moving, as I'll demonstrate. Just one hand, it's not moving. Now, you notice the controls here are a bit limited. I have a throttle. I have my headlamp. I have front brakes, rear brakes. I have a horn. And my turn signals don't actually work. That's it, there's no clutch, there's no gear shift. You just turn your throttle and go. And believe it or not, this is street legal. It's gonna kill it so you can hear me talking. This is a street legal vehicle in Japan, as ridiculous as it may look. If you had a plate, which we don't, you could drive it on the road. You also need a license. I don't have that either, um, but never mind about that. If you have any regular driver's license in Japan, you can drive or ride any bike 50 cc's or less with discounts as. But you'll notice, no plate. So unfortunately, we can't take it for a ride on the road. What's it look like when you're riding it? Allow me to show you. Oh wait, I'm going to start it again. This could be embarrassing. Come on, Moto Compo. You're beautiful. I love you. Oh, I didn't put a mirror up. That's very important. Parking lot riding. Let's 
see, I'm not gonna have it wide open. I'm in a parking lot at our office, doing around. And yes, it is every bit of goofy fun you would imagine it to be. It's tiny. One person can pick it up if they have better back than I do. But it's just amazing. These were built from 1981 to 1983. Honda made a little over 53,000 of these. At the time they were new, they cost about 80,000 yen. That was the MSRP. Now, if you can find one, you're going to pay at least 100,000 yen for it if you're lucky. You're probably going to pay more or a lot more if you find one in good condition. These are a very weird piece of JDM history. There's, I mean, I wouldn't say there's not a lot of them left, but they're harder to find. People who have these don't want to get rid of them. They're cool. They're goofy, but they're really cool. It's not something you would use for a daily driver, but they're fun as heck to ride on. Now, you've probably seen other videos with these online. Mighty Car Mods had a great one they did where they had two of these and they took them to a go-kart track. We don't have access to a go-kart track and we only have one, so we're kind of stuck with that. But if you have the means and the opportunity to at least ride one, do it. If you can buy one, definitely do it. Now, as I said, we're in the process of figuring out the whole motorcycle exporting thing. This is our first one. This is our test case, and the customer who bought this was very happy to let us use this. We're thrilled he let us use this. We couldn't be happier with it. I hope we can get a lot more of these. I hope we can get bigger bikes. I hope we can get anything anybody wants. That's legal wherever you want it and that we can hook you guys up with more amazing stuff and keep bringing you the things you expect from us. So that's going to do it for me. Well, as far as talking to you guys on the camera, I'm going to go one more lap around the parking lot. Wait, wait, don't, don't pause the video yet. I know I said I was done talking to the camera and I did my last lap around the parking lot, but Derek reminded me of one more thing we really should show you. There have been lots of videos on YouTube and everywhere else on the internet about the Moto Compo and how cool it is. And everybody talks about, yes, it was made for the Honda City and the Honda Today, but who actually shows you the car? We're gonna show you the car. It's, it's right there out of frame. One second. Right here, this is a Honda City R. This is the car where the back end was designed for the Moto Compo. It fits pretty much perfectly. That's it, that's the same one I was showing you earlier. So when I was riding around the parking lot, it fits. It doesn't fit perfectly in the back of this city though, because this one has this extra little trunk lid thingy in there, so it's not the best fit in this car, but a little bit of work, it'll be great. And in case you're wondering, yes, the person who bought the Moto Compo bought the city. They're buying the complete set, which I think is just really, really cool. So that was the last thing in the video. Now you can go ahead and hit pause. But thanks for watching.